proper maintenance will help increase the longevity of your zero-turn mower. Make sure all tires are properly inflated to 15 PSI. Anti-scalp rollers are properly adjusted when they are just slightly off of the ground, when the deck is at the desired cutting height in the operating position. Anti-scalp rollers then keep the deck in the proper position to help prevent scalping in most terrain conditions. Do not adjust the rollers to support the deck. The rollers should be approximately a quarter inch, 6.5 millimeters from the ground. Anti-scalp rollers can be set in four positions. Check the belts after every 100 hours of operation. Check for severe cracking and large nicks. It's okay if the belt shows some small cracks. While the belts are self-adjusting, replace them if they begin to slip from wearing issues. To replace the belt, first, park on a level surface. Apply the parking brake. Lower the deck into the lowest cutting position. Remove the bolts from the belt shields and remove the shields. Remove any dirt or grass that may have accumulated around the cutter housings and entire deck surface. Release the spring-loaded idler pulley. Carefully roll the belt over the top of the cutter housing pulleys. Loosen the belt keeper and remove the belt. For ease in installing the deck belt, refer to the routing decal on the top of the deck. When installing the new deck belt, wrap the belt around the electric clutch pulley that is located on the engine crankshaft. Route the belt forward and up onto the deck. Place the belt around the spring-loaded idler pulley and secure the belt keeper in the original position. Push inward on the idler arm and carefully route the belt over the outer mandrel pulley. Double check the belt routing to make sure it matches the decal affixed to the cutting deck and that the belt does not have any twists. Once the belt is properly routed, slowly release the idler arm to tension the belt. Replace the foot plate and belt shields on the mandrel housings and secure with fasteners. To attain the best cut quality, it is important that the blades are sharpened regularly and not damaged. Blades must also be balanced correctly to reduce vibration. Replace blades that have been bent or cracked from hitting obstacles. Be sure the unit is completely shut off. The key is not in the ignition, the deck is in the highest position and parked in a cleared workspace with the brake engaged. Place a wood block between the blade and deck shell to prevent the blade from turning. Then remove the blade bolt by turning it counterclockwise. Place the blade's opening firmly onto the spindle housing while matching the star pattern for a correct fit. Install the new blade with the stamped grass side facing towards the ground or this side up facing the deck and spindle housing. Tighten the blade bolt by turning it clockwise and securely to 90 foot-pounds or 122 newton meters. Adjust the deck while the mower is on a level surface. Make sure the tires are inflated to the correct pressure. If the tires are under or over inflated, the deck cannot be properly adjusted. Then note that the deck should be adjusted slightly higher in the rear. Also, to ensure accuracy of leveling procedure, the mower deck drive belt must be installed prior to leveling the deck. Wear heavy gloves. Turn each outer blade tip to align side to side. Measure from the floor surface up to the bottom of the blade tip on the discharge side of the mower deck. Record this measurement. Move to the opposite side. Check that the measurement is the same. If adjustment is required, use a three quarter inch or adjustable wrench to turn the lift link adjustment nuts on either side counterclockwise to lower or clockwise to raise. Adjust until both side to side measurements are equal. Turn any blade to align with the deck in front to rear manner. If the front blade tip does not measure 1 8 inch lower than the rear when the deck is in low position, to 1 half inch lower than the rear when the deck is in high position, follow the front adjustment instructions that follow. With a 5 8 inch or adjustable wrench, turn the nuts on the front suspension linkage. Turning clockwise raises the front of the mower, 
counterclockwise will lower the front. Adjust the nuts until the rear of the mower deck is positioned level to 1 8 inch higher in the rear than the front blade tip measurement. Note, this will place the mower deck in a standard measurement position. Additional adjustment may be required to achieve the desired cut for conditions or the type of grass being mowed. You should check the caster wheels every 200 hours. Check by making sure the wheels rotate freely. If the wheels do not rotate freely, add grease to the grease zerk or take the unit or caster wheels to your dealer for service. Foam-filled tires or solid tires will void the warranty. If the engine seems weak or runs unevenly, the air filter may be clogged. Also, a dirty air filter can cause the spark plug to become fouled. It is important to replace the air filter regularly. First, clean the area around the filter to prevent debris from getting into the engine when the filter is removed. Open the air filter cover. Unlatch the clamp. Remove the filter and inspect it to see if it's dirty, bent, or damaged. If the filter can be reused, gently tap it against a solid surface to remove dust. Handle it carefully and do not reuse the filter if the sealing surfaces are bent or damaged. Also check the air filter cover for damage or an improper fit. If the old filter cannot be cleaned, then replace with a new one. When installing the filter, check that it sits properly in the housing before closing the cover. Lubricate the front wheel mount pivots and wheel bearings with a grease gun. There is one zerk for each wheel pivot and one zerk for each set of caster wheels. Use only good quality bearing grease. To lubricate the deck spindles, begin by lowering the cutting deck completely. Lubricate them with a grease gun, two to three strokes per spindle. If a grease gun without a rubber hose is used, the foot plate must be removed to grease the center spindle. The engine oil should be changed for the first time after five to eight hours of operation. Thereafter, it should be changed after every 50 hours. To change the oil, first, place the mower on a flat surface. Place a container under the engine where the hose from the oil drain valve exits. Remove the dipstick. Loosen the cap plug. Place a funnel under the drain tube. Remove the cap plug and allow the oil to run out into the container. Then replace the cap plug and tighten. Replace the oil filter by rotating counterclockwise and be certain that the oil drain pan is below the oil filter. Install the new oil filter and tighten per manufacturer instructions. Fill with new engine oil in accordance with your mower's owner's manual. Replace the dipstick. Start the engine. Run it for a few seconds. Stop and recheck the oil level. Replace the dipstick. Regular cleaning, especially under the mower deck, will increase the machine's lifespan. Make it a habit to clean the machine directly after use, after the engine is cooled, but before the debris sticks. Do not spray water on top of the mower deck. Use compressed air, a brush, or a handheld blower to clean the top side of the mower deck. Regularly clean the underside of the deck with normal water pressure. Do not use a high pressure washer or steam cleaner. Avoid spraying the engine and electrical components with water. For models fitted with a clean out port, attach the quick connect from the accessory packet to any garden hose. After mowing, snap the hose to the clean out port and turn on the water supply. Make sure the water hose is out of the way of the deck and blades and then restart the mower. Engage the blades to use the spinning action to help wash away debris. Shut off the mower, shut off the water, and disconnect the hose. 
restart and run the mower with the blades engaged for approximately five minutes to dry the underside of the deck. Then, re-grease the spindles. Do not rinse hot surfaces with cold water. Let the unit cool before washing.